This is my team, and we have been studying the remains from the Battle of Thermopylae. We have carefully followed all five steps of the archaeological method and succeeded. Before we can start the digging, we need to get as much information as possible. We are looking for remains from the battle between the Persians and the Spartans. The battle took place in the Thermopylae Pass. The excavation process is when we get to dig. We have made sure that we have permission to dig on this site and that we have the right tools so that we can be safe. I have made a grid to help us track where we found the artifacts and what artifacts we have found. I have found a very large bone. I have found part of a Spartan spear. I found a bow and arrow. And I found a shield with many dents. Now we are about to begin the analysis of findings. With me, I have a uh, bone that has turned out to be a Spartan flag. I have found this was once a Spartan shield made out of bronze. Oh. I have a Spartan spear, which is usually six feet long, but probably is broken in half during the battle. I also have a Xiphos or sword, which is, used, which is used by the Spartans. I have a bow and arrow welded by the Persian immortals who fought the Spartans during the Battle of Thermopylae. Now we are publicizing our findings. Publicizing is how we share our ideas with the world. We do this so we can collaborate ideas with other archaeologists. Right now, I'm, I'm publicizing the Spartan Shield. This shield is the one that we dug up at the Thermopylae Pass. Salvation is when you carefully save your findings. We try hard to make sure that all of the artifacts stay in one piece and never rot. Preservating the findings is important because in the future, when technology is more advanced, Others will be able to learn more about our findings. As you can see, the team has already wrapped up the, our findings.